So we all see things through our personal worldview and our professional worldview, right? Where you've been trained, where your thoughts kind of gather through your own expertise. Like my brother, a musician, has been working to figure out how to get his church beautiful music during this time of online church services. My cousin, who's an EMT, just reached out to tell family that he was safe and encouraging us to be safe too uh, in our lives during this time. Uh, I have other friends, uh, friends who are writers who are using this time to write simple blog posts encouraging other people. I see artists uh, sharing their art with the world. I see musicians and other people uh, singing on Facebook, uh, Facebook Live and things like that. So we're all viewing this pandemic from our own worldview, right? So my training is mostly based in psychology and counseling. And so, of course, I'm looking at all this through that lens. And I got to tell you all, I hate the social distancing. I hate it. Uh, well, one, I'm an extrovert, so I miss all my people. <laughs> and seeing them on video and things like that um, and, you know, checking things out online is, is fine. But I'd rather much be with people in person. Uh, but two, I worry about what it's going to do to us as a culture. So I want to encourage you to ponder this and think about how we can come out on the other side as better people and not as people who are just better at isolation. So humans, we're made to be in community, right? We're made to be around one another. We are not made for this social distancing piece. Even the most extreme introverts still need human contact. We know that babies in orphanages who don't get held actually die from the lack of stimulation and getting their social needs met. So it's it's as primary of a need. Being around humans and having human connection is as primary of a need as breathing, eating, uh, and drinking water. My concern is that through all this social distancing, we're being taught to fear one another. Not just stay away, not just not just to be apart from one another for a temporary time. That's what they're saying. But when I see behaviors of people, like when I went to the grocery store a few days ago, uh, I got probably within six feet of another woman. I was trying to get around her and I was trying to be polite and all that kind of stuff. Um, but she literally jumped back and recoiled from me like I had the plague, um, which just felt really bizarre and really strange. I saw the fear in the eyes of this woman and it really concerned me. I uh, I get that we need to be concerned. I get that we need to be safe. I am a firm believer in doing what uh, we're told to do right now. I am quarantining myself. I'm stuck in my home. I don't go out and do things. <laughs> um, but, uh, and I'm not seeing all the people I want to see in this world. Um, and I know it's all temporary, but the point I guess I'm trying to say today is we need to be careful that this social distancing becomes not a habit of ours after we're done with this quarantine situation, that we don't become good at isolating because uh, as a culture and as a human race, we're really going to suffer greatly if that's the unintended lesson that we learn from this. So I wanna encourage you guys to think about um, social distancing um, and the impact it's having on your neighbors, the impact it's having on people who are very afraid of this virus, the impact it's having on teaching um, our young children and our young adults how we behave with other people. I know this is all supposed to be temporary um, and I guess my fear more than the virus in many ways is some or some of the unintended consequences of the virus and uh, social distancing worries me. So let's do it. Let's be safe, but let's be intentional to not let it become a habit and a way that we continue to interact with human beings once the threat passes. All right. Just wanted to share that today. <laughs> and um, I'm making some art about social distancing. So I'll be sharing that later too. <laughs> Bye.